Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video, it's because you want to know the best way to cut and eat a mango. You've come to the right place. There are so many ways to cut and eat mangoes and frankly, most of them leave your hands sticky and a mess. But we are not about that. I'm about to show you the cleanest and least messy way to eat a mango. Before we get started, there's one important thing to note about the anatomy of a mango. It's similarly shaped to an egg, meaning that there's one end that is smaller and the other end that sits larger. It's basically bottom heavy. And this is gonna be key when we get cutting. So take your knife and with that smaller end, we're gonna cut in a circle all the way around. Make sure that you get as close to the seed as possible. And then you'll twist it off. As you can see, the top has come off filled with all of the flesh and we're left with the bottom half and the top of the seed sticking out. So from here, you'll take your spoon and eat your way around the flesh of the small section. Yum. Once you're done with the small part, you can do the same with the large end. What I would suggest is that first you grab your spoon and you slip it in under the skin, right between the skin and the flesh where it meets. Push it all the way around until you've gotten through the whole edge. This is gonna make it significantly easier for you to eat the flesh and spoon it out. And then do the same thing around the edge of the seed. You're basically slicing it with the spoon. Okay, now that you have it sliced around the edge and around the seed, it's so easy to get up huge spoonfuls of mango flesh. And as you can see, there's no mess. If this were more ripe, there would be a little bit of juice in there, but the juice stays all contained within the mango, especially because we've gone around the outside. It's not gonna push the, the liquid and the juice up and out of the mango shell. So you're gonna do this you know, eating away, of course, or if you want to make it for a salad, you can do it this way and just spoon it into a bowl. But if I were doing this, I would be eating all of these. But just for the sake of showing you what comes next, I'm gonna spoon everything out. So you can see now that we left with an empty shell, relatively empty, and the seed in the middle. But there's still flesh on the seed that we don't wanna waste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top of the mango seed and twist it to release it from the bottom of the mango. Now that the mango seed is essentially free in there, you can squeeze it up with the skin of the mango and nibble and eat your way around the mango seed because there's quite a lot of flesh on there. And I'm showing you this um, turning it around with my fingers, but honestly, if I was eating this, I would just use my mouth to kind of pull it around and position it until I'd gotten all of the flesh off the mango. Once you're done with the mango seed, you can set that aside. And now you would take your spoon again and continue to eat the rest of the flesh that is inside of the shell because there's still quite a lot of mango flesh in here to be had. Now I go one step further when I'm eating it and when I've spooned out everything that I can, I like to do this. I turn it inside out, which is a lot easier to do when there is no big chunks of flesh still on there, but I turn it inside out and then I put my hand inside like a glove and continue to eat the flesh that's around there. Now you'll see a little bit of juice did spill out, but that's only because there's still so much flesh on here. If I'd been eating it out, there wouldn't be any of that juice coming out and it would again be mess free. So that's the method. I'm so curious to know if any of you are gonna try this and if you do, tell me what you think of it. I love this. This is the only way that I'll eat mango now. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and come back for more. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd so appreciate having you here.